it's too early for him to use uh, anyone else. And I think it makes a lot of sense, actually, because when you think about the sort of play style, you don't want to be running into an incinerator, right? You, you, it's very difficult for you to be uh, if you to yeah. hold forward against an incinerator. And I think that. Uh, oh god! Oh, we're starting on Town City, by the way. So as you can see, um, Incineroar versus Wolf. This is basically. I feel like Incineroar is kind of not not too far away from Kazi in terms of the way you have to approach him, right? Like, if, like, and I know that sounds weird, but. Think about it, we got, like Incineroar kind of has not really a large burst range, but if you make a mistake, you are probably taking 80 for it. Yeah, Especially yeah. with Revenge. <gasps> Literally going he to take the died. stock. I'm telling you, man, he's, he's, he's stupid. If you make a mistake versus Incineroar, you will die for it. Especially after the most recent patch. Well, it's definitely that kind of like glass cannon feel, right? Like, I mean, by the same token. He's heavy. It, yeah, yeah, if Incineroar takes or makes a mistake, he can die just as easily because yeah. it, his disadvantage is awful and he's also got an awful recovery. Slight, slightly better than maybe you'd expect it to be, uh, especially with oh being God. able to use the side B and the up B, not suffering from a uh, little max smash four syndrome. Yeah. But uh, something... Uh, What's interesting about this set so far... Wait a second, how much damage did I just do? Sorry, go on. <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm saying. So, like, streaks can be dominating the neutral right now, but Am Afro only needs what... There you go. He finally takes okay. that first, but he's 98 behind. Uh, considering it was, like, a like a zero... To, almost near zero to death in the first... He's dead again. This is what I'm saying. He, Incineroar, under the hands of someone like Afro, who's, who's quite calculated in the way he plays, you know, revenge is ridiculous. Here we go. Okay. Can Streaks get something started? I feel like what needs to happen right now is Streaks needs to get the ball rolling. So yeah. what, what's happening at the moment is that he's getting little chinks, right? He's, he's getting little hits over and over again, but he needs something big to come back. Nice yeah. wait there. Here Very we nice waiting out the revenge. Yeah. The big issue with fighting Incineroar as well is the fact that because Revenge is frame one, you could be doing a combo that might be true on most characters, but if Incineroar can get that frame one in Revenge out, you are eating 80 on the next interaction. Oh, that was Here we a go. nice upbeat from Afro there. Ooh. Don't die. Good DI. Okay, good TI. I don't think it was going to kill really? no. I, th I thought he was going to die. <laughs> I thought I the don't sparks know. were for, <laughs> for streaks, yeah. For streaks, not for Afro. Okay, yeah, this is good. Uh, Wolf cannot engage at yeah. the moment. Here's the thing. Afro needs one interaction. He, w there we he go. wins. There, there you go. go. All right. Game one, <laughs> Game one to goes to Afro. Yeah, it's it's so hard to fight in Sinra. People talk. Obviously, like he's low tier, whatever. People keep saying stuff like that. But the reality is, when piloted by a really good player, it's difficult. You know, you you are like, especially because like Streaks is naturally an extremely aggressive player. Just, like if Afro is able to, as he's been doing, get these revenges off just from just because you know Streaks like to hold forward. What's he gonna do? It's, it's not gonna it's not gonna go well for him. Hmm? It's frame three. Okay, I'm okay. I'm I'm very sorry. I did not know it was frame three. <laughs> but regardless, it's stupid. It huh? is. <laughs> this is the thing about ultimate, right? Is that in the hands of, of good players, a lot of these characters can be so strong. I think we're going to see a rising up of a Jigglypuff soon, oh, right? With, uh, after those buffs, she's probably actually usable now, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. What's very interesting about this game, we've gone back to town and city, but this time, Streaks has made sure that he started off strongly. He's kept Afro at this ledge, kept him in disadvantage. Is that death? No, 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 no. Okay. No, it's not death yet, yeah, but Afro's got to watch himself. <laughs> Why did that do 50? Why did that do 50? Make it make sense. Anyway, look, okay. it, look Ryan, like, Streaks is playing much more me methodo uh, methodo methodological. That was, that was, that was the worst fumble I've ever had. Anyway. <laughs> He's playing much slower now. Yeah, yeah. And he's paying much more attention. He's not just going in. And this means a lot for the matchup for, for, by long shot. If Streaks can get like that one good straight hit in, Afro's lost his stock and then he's playing at a disadvantage. Like at times like this, if Streaks can get this lead, 
and solidify it, he'll be fine for the rest of the game. It's just when he has to play catch up. That's when things get super dire, but especially versus a player like Afro. Up there, yeah. There very you go. Good, very good catch. Very good catch. I, I would actually say that Afro made a mistake there. I don't think that the side B was necessary. And so I, I think that it was just good on streaks that he said, okay, I can't, you can't make those sorts of mistakes against me, right? I am going to punish you every single time. And now he's got this lead and he can just not engage. You know, he can, he can continue the UK meta, the UK agenda of don't engage, just camp, run away, keep your leads. Up here. They're getting patience at the ledge there, Full but throw. that's probably going to be death. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. you know he got fifty percent on him. It's not. It's you know it's still a lead. Um, Seventy. Wow. Revenge. He, he managed to revenge the F till. That's crazy. Uh, I don't think running in there was, was the best decision from Streak. It felt a little bit lazy. I, I can understand why he did it, but right now, he, he Avro has to go in. You know, Avro doesn't have a, a, a neutral tool that is going to just, like, bring him in. Like we saw in the first set with Tekka, he has those tools that are able to help him get in. Yeah. Avro doesn't have that yeah. with Incineroar. But like, you know, with Incineroar, the best you can do is, is utilize your command grab to catch someone shielding. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can try and apply this pressure, but fa like doing failing to do something on shield versus Wolf, it can be a death sentence. Absolutely. Especially if Wolf is facing away from you with that wall crime back air. Back air is so insane. Thing is, this is a dire situation for Shrieks off stage here. Makes it back on just throw. barely, gets a nice oh, throw. Okay. Ooh, throw. There okay. you go. Dash attack gonna take that, bring that. Bring Afro to his final stock here. I would have been very interested to know what Afro's DI was on that F throw, because I think if he DI'd away, he could have slid off the ledge and just reset to the neutral because of the... Uh, yeah. Of being at the uh, ledge. A ledge option was certainly better than taking that, that taking, dash attack for yeah, sure. Yeah, but, you know, Afro's gonna fight straight back. Both of them on their last stock. Streaks with a narrow lead right now. He's gonna try and extend it here. Let's see how far he can get with it. Ooh. Doesn't fall for revenge and back as him. Okay. Streaks game taking three. game two. Game three coming up. See, this is why I'm saying I would have really loved to see a game five set between these two. It, it would have been nice to see how, how it evolves over time. Well, yeah. Yeah, Streaks definitely learned from game one. I Absolutely. can't just go for it. I need to wait. I need to be patient. And once I watch for the opening, it's free. Absolutely. It's okay. just making sure I don't fall for it. I wonder what stage we're going to go back to. Do you think we'll go back to the town and city? There's so many games to watch it up. Let's see. I don't know how quickly they're going to head into the second game, third game. Sorry. Streaks is taking a quick drink, just uh, taking a moment to reset his men mental. Let's see. We've got Emas taking it over Balbi and winners. Um, oh, we're heading into game three. And All back right. To Town, Town of City, City again, yeah. man. Afro saying, okay, I don't think the stage was the issue. He's, he, he, you know, he's saying, I don't think that the way that the stage affected the game was clear enough for me to, you know, to, to change, what, yeah. change what we were doing. You know, because usually you want to avoid town versus characters like, say, Pikachu or Falcon, who are going to get massive combo extensions just yeah, yeah. off the platforms. You know, and Wolf and, and Incineroar, I don't really feel like they get massive extensions from any of this. No, I don't. I don't think they do. I mean, right now it's fairly even. Oh Ooh. man, F tilt. Does he have a jump? He did. Yeah, he's up. okay. That up was a beat. nice beefy up B there. Very nice. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that hit him. But at the same time, you know, I think Afro just wasn't aware that it was going to him. Otherwise, he would have revenged it for sure. Well, it was interesting in the last game. Every time the uh, streaks went for it. Afro actually shielded it, so whether he just didn't think that because Streaks did it so often in the last game that he wouldn't do it in this game, or, or what happened, I'm not entirely sure. Oh man, Great he weaved in so Great nicely backer. to get back into ledge side just to take the stock. Great movement from Streaks there. Oh, he's he ignores... moving around Afro so well right yeah. now. He's Revenge. dead. Oh. 
He tried to. He, he's trying to. Oh. Oh, There's definitely some commotion going on with Robbie AK47 right now, but we don't care about that because we're watching stream. Um, <laughs> like, uh, honestly, <laughs> what is going on here? Forward air into just. Ah, that's the first time I've seen. Well, not the first time. He doesn't use side B very frequently, probably because it's a terrible move for the most part. Yeah. Um, using side B and whiffing is basically a death sentence. Um, nice grab from Streaks there, going to catch out the revenge. How's he going to keep this advantage? Interesting. Choosing to reset to the neutral there instead of uh, continuing his advantage today. I, I don't know whether I agree with that decision or not. Obviously, Strix is a much better player than I am, so knows what he's doing, but I, I it think, just felt... I think there's definitely a case to say that trying to overextend advantage versus Incineroar is a terrible idea. Um, Strix is now already... Pay <gasps> Great catch with the F-Tilt there, but I think Afro is still going to win. Not win, get, get back to the edge. Is that it? That oh my god, it. great Ed Garden. Yeah, yeah, it, it was great. Interesting that he chose to like float off with the Nair already out. You, you often see lots of wolves just try and react with the Nair, but Streak saying, I don't need to react here. Is it's going to be strong the whole way throughout, so I'm just going to keep going. Here we go. Not overextending these forward airs because yeah, he knows yeah. that a revenge can come. That, 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 that's like the significant Sorry, notice you can see. Jeez. That's the significant thing you can notice in, about Streak's advantage today ever since game one. Like he knows he has to be extremely careful. He, that's why he's choosing to reset to neutral in advantage sometimes because he has to pick and choose, you know. Ooh, but... Great up air. Oh! Yeah. That was a great read from Streaks. Great read from Streaks. Streaks <laughs> taking the set. That, that was a good set. That'll be 2-1 to Streaks. Afro's gonna be sent to loser something. Let's see, where is he? Where is it looks like he's going? Uh, loser's round two, right? Yeah, it must be. Yeah. But let me just, uh, seems my Smash GG is 